the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. From the National Science Foundation, this is the Hour Report. The 72-year-old St. Anthony Falls Laboratory is set for renovations, thanks to a $7.1 million NSFRA grant. The University of Minnesota will use this money to make lab improvements, which will enhance research related to wind power, water power, biofuels, and stream and delta restoration. The project will generate an estimated 332 new jobs in the Minnesota area and ensure that research will continue here for decades to come. The National Science Foundation has awarded Norfolk State University a $145,000 R grant to develop and test innovative instructional virtual reality-based 3D simulations for undergraduate optical engineering classes. Working closely with George Mason University, the team will also investigate how different aspects of virtual reality help students with different learning styles master the fundamentals of fiber optic communications. U.S. doctoral scientists and engineers who pursue Ph.D. careers in research and education can receive financial help from a $3 million NSFRA grant. The funds are part of the National Science Foundation's Integrative Graduate Education Research Training Program. A recent fellowship program, Clean Energy for Green Industry, CGI, led by Professor Diana Huffaker at the University of California, Los Angeles, is designed to give Ph.D. students a $30,000 stipend for pursuing research and coursework in the science, business, and policy of clean technology. The CGI trainees are also highly involved in community education and participation through volunteer work with L.A. City government, public schools, and L.A.-based nonprofits. The program is the first of its kind in the L.A. Basin and will graduate 33 Ph.D.s with expertise in energy storage, energy harvesting, and energy conservation. That's the Aura Report. I'm Dina Headley.